one more set of bones we have to look at before I say you've done the basics. Once we balance and free up the frontal and balance and free up the occiput, the next thing we have to worry about is the temporals. This is called the cranial base. And this is also a very tough area. This is a very, very firm area that is hard to get damaged in trauma. So again, we're working with the hard, stiff parts of the skull first, because if you work on these stiffer parts, the other bones just kind of fall into line and require very little therapy. So there's been a lot of controversy about the temporal bone, but the latest research shows that the temporal bones actually go in opposite directions. And this is why it can be so complicated to try to palpate the cranium. Because some people say that the cranial, the cranial temporal bones go like this. If you learn that, you're never going to feel it because it very rarely ever occurs. Now, if you keep doing this on someone's skull, you're going to force the skull to move in that way. But that's not how it moves normally. Normally, they're called the wobbly wheels, and they go forward and back like this. So they actually wobble a little bit, but basically, simply, they go forward and back. So what we're going to do is to make it easy on you to make sure it's balanced, we're going to push from the back to front and from the front to back. And all you have to do to do this is to put your thumb on the front of the temporal bone. This is the petrous portion of it, the mastoid process. And then you're going to push up on the back. So we're going to push it from back to front and front to back and make sure it's moving normally. So I put my hand, I usually put my hand on the back side of that bone first. And I start on the left because if the occiput is flexed, then this is also going to be flexed. And it's, when this flexes, it goes backwards toward me or toward the floor. So I'm going to push it from front to back and from back to front. Now you see I'm putting my fingers on the front of the mastoid, and then I put my fingertips on the back of the mastoid. And I'm basically doing the same thing in the opposite directions on the right side. So I can move it in both flexion and extension. I'm pushing from back to front. And I can just, if I want, I can just put from back to front on the left and do that until I feel it free up. But the key thing is that your hands are going in the opposite directions because it's like a wobbly wheel. This was originally called by a chiropractor, Dijonek, called um, Pussyfooting. I think they might have been using osteopathy also, where it's you use your thumbs like a cat's feet and you gently move in opposite and opposing directions. And once you've done that, you've actually now harmonized a lot of the cranial motion because you've balanced the temporal bones to the cranial rhythm and to the frontal and occiput bones. And that's how you treat the cranial base. And this is enough for you to start treating patients on a very basic level. So how you find the mastoid process is you can follow from the zygoma or maxillary bone and part of the temporal, we follow it back. The atlas is right here. The ramus of the mandible or jaw is here. And right here is a very hard area that is just below the earlobe, and it's quite superficial, and that is the mastoid process. So I'm going to put my thumb here, 
to push it back, and then I'm going to push it forward with my index finger. So I can go back and forth and back and forth. And the key thing is when I'm pushing like this on the left side, I'm going in the opposite direction on the right side because your temporal bones move like that. Thank you.